So welcome, my beautiful people. Welcome to our home. This is our 19th century barn. We used to have, not, not we, <laughs> our ancestors, the previous owners of this place used to have horses here in this road. It goes around two and a half kilometers to the sea. Yeah, 2.5 kilometers. Here is around five old ha horse barns. The barns for stallions. And they all have been restored by different people. And so we chose our project over here. I remember when we first came here around three years ago. It was autumn and the, and the plums on the trees were just sweet and the apples were falling and and it was just a piece of paradise which we could attain as our own to create our own dream reality over here. So we bought this place, 3.5 hectares of land and we began our journey towards our own self-reliable homestead. Small holding, no, we have got big plans. We are going to build another house on, the, on the, our premises, on our grounds. And then we are, we are at the moment in a midst of a planning with an architect. So we could house some more ha houses, some more people on our grounds. So we could build around four or five houses over there and acquire some more land. That would be our little eco village project. But eco village, five, six, seven houses and people living there. No, you have to have this community spirit. You must have a, have a, an aim or a goal how to live a self sustainable life. And of course, a garden and many, and actually many gardens. So you could, we could grow our own food. But at the moment, we are in our house here. It's our house in the middle of our street. You know, you know that song. But it's not totally completed. As you can see there, there's a missing part for the house. <laughs> Oh, and it's raining, very sad. <laughs> but from this door, we are going to build a, a additional part for the house, as large as this barn used to be. So, so under, over here on this floor, it's around 45 square meters of floor space. So the so the next part will be around 50 square meters. It's like five meters and nine, 45, okay. 45 square meters. And it will be like these glass doors, full of glasses and a red roof on, over it from corrugated steel. Okay, corrugated steel. Oh, it doesn't sound nice, corrugated steel. Yeah, yeah, but it looks really beautiful. Our house is from the outside, it's uh, red and white, plus I, plus I did a lime wash on the stone, so it's white as a, it's like you, you come to a winter wonderland, everything is white and there's a snow and then there's this white and red house, then the first thing that comes to your mind, to my mind, is, oh, it's Santa lives there, Santa Claus, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But it's, it's a project. Mm. I began it, it uh, in, pff, I can't remember, it took around one and a half years for me to finish this whole project alone. And of course we have got some things unsettled, everything is not finished, like uh, here, here's, a, here's some unfinished plaster work. But when you get your child, children and wife into a house, it's really hard to do anything anymore. 
because it's always like something is going on and now now at last i got a chance to be on my own over here for for a half an hour oh shit. Uh, uh, 30 minutes time is ticking <laughs> what am i gonna do uh, can i finish something oh i got to do some work so it's more easy to build an extension so we could gradually like how do you say disperse the attention that <laughs> that that it's more calmer inside this house we have got, got um, the first floor and the second floor but then when we have this addition it's more easier to just start doing something some work in some part of the house and no one will notice <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah yeah but it it's, it was a uh, got a big job and uh, and cool thing about it that i did i built a house uh, at, in the beginning i had to demolish because it was an old barn a limestone barn from stone and and just big rocks as a foundation so and someone had built a uh, summer cottage over the barn or the barn ha had been converted into a summer cottage but it was all rotten because the previous owner was a great friend of cement so cement render and stuff like that so i had to take the all the cement out i dug up the floor i i scraped out all the old floorboards we changed the roof uh, new chimney uh, the uh, the floor spaces around around meter or even more that I filled up with different insulation materials uh, heat heating and and in the end a uh, ecological laminate so ecological flooring it's not it's not made from or it is it is how do you say it is machine uh, machine made wood it's wood that has been uh, somehow tra transformed in a in a machine and made an <laughs> made it over blah, blah 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 without any clues okay so yeah and the stairs we had to build new one and it's just amazing stairs and and uh, I built walls and we and and I built a sauna over here. <laughs> and when when people who have finished roots, they must have a sauna in their home. That's the most important thing. Sauna. We go to the sauna. <laughs> and it keeps the whole place warm. And uh, and we have got the central heating here. We have got central heating stove, so we get our own food own wood from the our forest and we heat our wood we heat our house with our self-sustainable energy and we are free from this silver silver system we have our own well poured some 30 meters into the solid rock ground and uh, and then we have our our silver system that's great and uh, and i plastered i think i did i plastered around three tons of lime plaster under those walls in this house and i built a pot top from tadelakt so it's all shiny i did a lot of stucco and uh, uh, and, uh, and, mar and marmorino the fine finishing with the lime plaster that's that's beautiful work and and actually <laughs> You learn by doing so in the beginning i was really i really sucked at it but now i'm a little bit better i'm i'm still not a professional so we had and, and we had to put on a new new floor to the second second floor new floorboards new doors and over this hole it used to be a, a window over here and uh, and we had this plan that we will have this addition, this addition for the house. So with this diamond saw, I, I just had to saw a hole into the wall. 
<laughs> just took so much time. <laughs> and 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 uh, the stones that were left over, we built a patio and and all kinds of beautiful things. I show you around now as you are there. So this is our stairs made from wood and some other stuff. Here are some rocks that we have gathered around the world. They have got a lot of crystals. And here also some stones. They're beautiful. And I'd like to see, I'd like to show what's down here. So this is the old. This is a this is a, a our local marble that I that I found in this house and I decided to save it. It was like in the beginning, everybody told me to oh, throw it away, but no, that's that is great thing. It's a local marble. But yeah, here, here you can see some stuff that has not been finished yet. But I'll show you something else as well. Yeah, that's just our house. <laughs> Many things incompleted, but this is beautiful, and this. These stones over here. This is a granite. Black granite. But yeah. The stones are the most beautiful part of this house. But many things are still in the middle of work. But but doing doing things mostly on my own. It has been a great job just doing on my own most of the things. And there's there's a lot of lot to do, but but we are quite content and living here. And that's that's my message that a, anyone and everyone can build their own house and and realize their dreams, of course. That's the funny thing about this house is that uh, that there was so much trash around here that I had huge piles of rotten wood. I took off the old roofing that was full of asbestos. Mm, there were some uh, some uh, small buildings on the, on on the grounds that I demo demolished, and there was all kinds of dangerous stuff being left left behind by the old owner that's uh, that's just that's, uh, just a lot of work a lot of work to be accomplished but it's doable and and uh, and I would say to each one of of uh, who decides to take on this journey to build a house uh, that go for it you will learn while doing it and and the result it's just a, this huge accomplishment. Of course, I come from a family where my father has built over 300, 400 houses. So I grew up in the environment that you got to build your own house. So it's kind of normal as well. But but I, I must say that, that everyone, if they see a dream, then just go for it. Take take small steps, and in the end, you will make it. Like uh, like uh, as I'm uh, telling the vision of building the the next part of the house. I don't know how we, how it will go, and uh, and it's all about the funding the house. We are going to build now when the spring arrives a parking lot over there with some nice beams and stuff. We have a really nice parking lot. I will show you the ceiling as well. That's that's really cool. And not not this one, but the sky. <laughs> I was just plastering that stuff over there for months. <laughs> Actually, not that long, but it was quite a, a challenge, a quite a journey to plaster that ceiling there. But it's beautiful. So I wish you all the best and hopefully you enjoy the ceiling. <laughs>